This is my low-level RuneScape noob. Look how newbie I am. But I have a little trick up my sleeve. Five years ago, I set out on a journey to build the strongest, most broken character across every MMO on Earth. My goal is simple, to emulate this guy from South Park. I want to be just like him, going around mercilessly one-tapping every other player on the server. My opponents would be shocked in disbelief as they would be sent back to Noobtown, in this case, Lumbridge. How will I achieve this? Well, over the last five years, I've only been training my offensive stats with strange methods and keeping defensive stats like hit points to a minimum. For the last year, I thought all that work would go to waste. Time and time again, I would lose my PvP encounters. I wasn't the Giga Chad Pog Daddy I set out to be. Just a lowly beta cuck, sitting on a pile of broken dreams. I died a lot. Getting 27 hit points didn't change much either. I simply had such small knockout potential on my opponents. That's the whole point of this account. If the ambush fails, the account fails. But on one fateful day, Jagex announces a change to one of RuneScape's mightiest weapons, the Dragon Warhammer. They're keeping it exactly the same, except changing the skill requirement to use it from attack to strength. I have one attack, but I have 95 strength, which means I would be able to use this Warhammer intended for the highest combat levels in the game at just over 40 combat. The Obsidian Maul will soon be obsolete. Finally, I'll be able to run around the game plowing through everybody in my path. The only catch? I'm forced to get everything, including the Warhammer, from scratch on this low-level account. If I can pull this off, I will be one of the few accounts in the game that can hit over my combat level in just a single damage splat. At 44 combat, I'll be able to hit 57s on other level 44s. But it doesn't come easily. To make money to build a proper house and get the gear required to PK, I need 1500 skill total on this account to access exclusive worlds that allow me to mine rune rocks in peace, away from bots and gold farmers. Done. Beautiful. Let me drop that there. And I have an extra 100 lizardman fangs. That should last me a good month for teleports to my house. Beautiful. Okay, so I have a farming contract to grow a maple tree but I just ran out of maple saplings, so I'm gonna have to cut off my goal. I was originally going to get 100 supply crates before I opened them, but I know I can get a maple seed from one of these, so I'm gonna open these 40. Yeah, the main thing I'm hoping for, Tome of Fire, the pet, Dragon Axe. Magic Logs are very nice because I can make magic short bows out of those, uh, but yeah, these seeds will be very helpful for training the herb lore level as well. Lots of cash, beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, burn pages? New seed, okay. That's close to the maple. I really better get this. Please give me the maple seed. Oh my... Not only am I not getting the maple seed, I'm also not getting any pyromancer or anything else that's valuable. Ooh. Oh my god! No way, no way! Yes, the dragon axe! Holy crap! Oh my god, what? That's all you have to do. That is all you have to- you just have to complain, and then you'll get the rarest item possible. It's beautiful! That is so good! I know people that haven't gotten this in like 36 million fire making XP, and I got it at level 72. One of my last crates to open as well. Man, that is lucky! Oh my gosh. Alright, no maple seed unfortunately, but who cares, I got the dragon axe. No more need for the rune axe. Dragon axe gets added to the collection right next to my deep pick as well. Once my oak grows, I'll cut it down with the dragon axe. It'll be sick. I'm farm locked because I need a maple seed to finish my farming contract. The best way I can think of to solve this is to get more of those supply crates. With the dragon axe taken care of, I'm chasing the maple seed I need, full pyromancer, and perhaps the phoenix, and of course the fire making levels to edge closer to 1500 skill total. And there's 74 fire making. Kill count 60. Ooh, warm gloves. I haven't had these yet. Not bad. And earrits. Okay. Well, I got a few more in the bank. I'll open those up as well. A lot of people think the axe type doesn't matter for Winter Todd. I've noticed a huge difference with it, and I looked it up, and apparently it does matter, but there's a myth that it doesn't matter at all. But seriously, the dragon axe is so much better than the bronze. All right, let's see about these. Yeah, Rumor Torch. I think I already had that, but yeah. Uh, sharks cooking XP. Not bad, not bad. Two U seeds. I need the maple. Give me the maple seed. 
I didn't get a single maple seed. I was probably like 51 crates. Do I have no more? Oh man, I am getting quite unlucky here. 75 fire making, wow. Climbing up the levels can now burn magic logs. Let's see about this loot here. Coins, the GPs, and mithril ore. Okay, make for some darts. Pet chance. Number 71, 72, and 73. Still no maple seed. Unlucky. There marks 52 construction from repairing the braziers. Edging ever closer to 1500 total. Finally. And not too long after, 76 fire making. Let's see what we pull. Rune ore. Nice. Glad I have a high mining level. That means I can get that. You want to give me maple seed? No, you don't. Okay. And there's 76 wood chopper in. All right, Mr. Sweet MC. You have a phoenix now. I want a phoenix too. Let's go for it. Boom. Nothing. You want to give me the maple seed and no, you don't. Okay. <laughs> Two more crates. Snapdragons, all right. Hey, and there is 79 farming from an oak no less. I can now grow dwarf weed. Hey, not bad. 77 fire making. Give me the maples. Rune ore, okay. Where's my maple seed? Number 84 for the gems. Aha, uh -huh, and there we go. 79 fletching. Only one away from not needing to boost for my magic short bows, which is beautiful. Oh, and I also just had a thought. Maybe I can't even get maple seeds because all I'm getting are you and magic because my farming is so high, perhaps there's no chance of ever getting any, which would, uh, yeah, that's not so nice of a thought. I really don't know how to go about getting a maple seed aside from farming contracts and supply crates or maybe the rare drop table but I don't kill anything anymore. I keep my range around, I mean, keep a max around 63 or 64. So yeah, I don't, I really don't know how I'm gonna get this maple seed for my next farming contract, but I am in deadlock right now. So hopefully I figure something out. Okay, yeah, I mean, I've done probably open 60 crates, something like that. So yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to continue on with something else. I think I can get maple seeds from bird's nests. Let's see. Oh yes, 74. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's do this. And no maple seed yet. I don't know where I got all these, but I am glad they exist. Let's see what? Oh come on. You're playing with me at this point. 18 will will do it, right? Did I just get I can't see any. Man, no! Not acorns. Oh man, okay, I have double the amount left. That's willow. Acorn. Oh my gosh. Where are the maple seeds, man? Oh boy, oh boy. All right, last 20. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't get a single maple seed. That is remarkable. I got oak, I got willow, I got you, but I didn't get a maple. Why couldn't I get a maple? Man, I opened 70 just now, 74. All right, to get this maple seed, it turns out I'll need to do birdhouse runs, something I haven't done on this account. For that, I will need to build a, not a repair bench, no, crafting table. Is this right? Which one is it? Oh boy, I don't want to make the wrong one. There it is. Excellent, okay. I didn't even have a crafting table in my house before. What the heck? But yeah, here we go. Finally getting this done on the account and I'll use magic logs just because I'm getting so many from Winter Todd at this moment. I think I have 170 already from only about 70 Winter Todds. And yes, the first magic bird houses. Fossil Island, let's go. And I hope there's a teleport that I have access to here. Please, number two is unlocked. I think it's Verdun Valley, right? Ah, uh, okay. And we put the barley seeds in and the birds will be very happy. And this should be a foolproof way to get maple seeds eventually. From one of these birds' nests, I will get a maple seed. Don't forget to put the seeds in, I always do that. And unfortunately, no maple seed. Feels bad, feels very bad, but we will wait once again. Maple seed, another bird house run. No maple seed. Hey, 84 hunter. Okay, I hope nobody kills me because I am enchanting sapphire necklaces into games necklaces and I need them for getting to Winter Todd. Wait, does this go automatically? Can I just do that? I think I learned this before, but I forgot. It does do it automatically. Nice. Now I'm gonna sit here, relax, and recharge my run. And hopefully nobody comes and kills me. But yeah, I'm doing this because it doesn't cost any runes and I don't get any magic XP, which is nice. 78 fire making. Okay, another five crates and nothing. Another birdhouse run and one bird nest with the seed in it. Let's see. 
Okay. And that makes for the 79 fire making level. Thank you. Also, 100 winter tods complete. Excellent. And supplies for days, but no pyromancer pieces at 100 kill count. Pretty unlucky. All I have are the warm gloves, which, yeah, that's not very helpful. Darn, man. All right, well, we continue. At least the cash pile is going up pretty decently there. 457k. Ooh, snapdragons. Great, 107, 108, and 109 for, eh, Renar. Not bad. Okay, there we go. A milestone for me. 80 fire making. And kill count 111. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, but I think I get torstals if I have three Bruma torches on my person. So, let's see. Do I have three? Nice. All right. I should be able to get torstals instead of uh, Bruma torches from now on. 117 crates and still no pyromancer. Ah. And there is 81 fire making and four more supply crates. No more, py still no pyromancer at 124 Winter Todd KC. That is incredible. Yet I have the dragon axe, so yeah, that's kind of odd. Another five crates for no pyromancer once again. Okay. Can we get the maple seed? Mm, yes, finally. Oh, it took ages, but I finally got it from birdhouse runs of all places. There we go. And now continue with farming contracts. I was deadlocked there for a while. Another six supply crates for the supplies, but no pyromancer. What? Oh. Another five for the burn pages and you seeds. Alrighty, 83 fire making. And there's 53 construction. And in the same winter, Todd, 84 fire making. Wow, alright, it feels good to have that level. And there we are for the 85 fire making. I'm actually gonna stop it there. Yeah, I'm really glad I made it closer to 1500 total here. So that'll be nice for mining rune rocks, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it after this Todd, and hopefully I get something from these uh, these crates here. It would be nice, but I made quite a bit of GP, which uh, is, is pretty good. And for the final six crates, we pull some stuff. No pyromancer. 176 kill count. 85 fire making. No pyromancer. But that concludes the Winter Todd journey. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get 1500 total through other means. So yeah, thank you Winter Todd for all the cash and supplies. But I am out of here. Also got the dragon axe. So that is not too bad either. Yeah, grew my cash stack by 400k. That's pretty good. Okay, and now returning to the sawmill, quickly going to get 55 construction to boost myself a little bit closer to 1500 total. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna make enough oak planks to get myself 55 construction, as that will contribute to my 1500 skill total level sufficiently for the requirements that I have laid out for myself. Boom! Just over 500k cash remaining and enough planks to get myself 55 construction. And there is 54 construction. Whew, I was worried I wouldn't get it there with the oak, pl oak planks I prepared, but I just scratched the surface of 55 construction. Woo! Shortly after, 55 herb lore. Hey, not bad. What can I make with that? Mmm, super strength potions without a boost. Beautiful. Mandatory to get the chef's hat out because I'm going to be doing some cooking to get 70. Yeah! I can now do recipe for disaster. No, I'm not going to do that quest, uh, but, uh... Alrighty then, it is time to train the smithing. I currently have 79. I'm gonna go ahead and get 82 smithing all through mithril bar making. I have 7.5k mithril ore, just need to make about 5.5k for 82, uh, at which point I will make all the mithril bars into mithril dart tips and I will get a lot of juicy fletching XP from that as well. So I'll get another fletching level from that. I won't have to boost for the magic short bow anymore. And the uh, pretty much like 15 other skill total levels on need will all come from herb lore. Uh, quite a few herbs in my collection. So that is beautiful. Let us get to the smithing. And there is 80 smithering. It's a beautiful level. And that'll do it. Just over 5.3k mithril bars. That will be enough for my 82 smithing. And we're off to making mithril dart tips with all these mithril bars. Oh my gosh. This will actually be kind of AFK now and I'm not spending any money like I was at the blast furnace. It should be a lot better for me. Woo, first one, 81 smithing. Yes, boys. Okay. Hello, 80 farming. Ooh, another 10 milestone. Beautiful. May as well pick some coconuts to make some weapon poison plus plus in the future. Two to go. Maybe just one uh, for my 1500 total goal. 
Everything else will come from herb lore, fletching, smithing, and uh, a lot of other stuff. And beautiful! All of the mithril bars have been used. I've created about 54,000 mithril dart tips. So, that will be a lot of fletching XP. Let's get the feathers out. Hey there, 82 smithing beauty! Finally, smithing is complete. Just about done here with the mithril bars, and I'll have a lot of fletching XP stored up as well. Ah, it feels good! Only 16 levels left until I'm completed with this goal. Set this out about two months ago now. And the final stats are herb lore, farming, and fletching. Three short of 82 fletching, about 13 short of the 68 herb lore goal, and one short of 81 farming, which will get me up to 1500 total. I do need to collect some secondaries for all of these herbs I have. Eyes of Newts, easy, those goes with Irrits, and Snape Grass goes with my Renars, but there's a lot of stuff that I still need to collect. That's right, I have to go collect some Mortmire Fungi. 528 of them, in fact. But first, I'll collect enough Eyes of Newts. That'll be something quick to uh, gratify myself right away. 2300 Eyes of Newts. That'll be enough. All right, I have 528 Avantos. That means, let's see, how many trips of collecting Mortmire Fungi? 20 trips. A quest, or at least start the quest. All right, Phillyman Tarlock, I will come and save you. Purchasing the Sickle Mold. Smelting a Silver Sickle. Aha, uh -huh, I need 66 magic. There we go. Diary task complete, and now I can purchase soul runes. Okay, they made updates. Now I cannot purchase soul runes. Uh -huh. Aha. <gasps> the wizard's head. Oh my goodness. Okay, the salve graveyard teleport requires both one law rune and two soul runes. So I need 200 soul runes to make a po portal in my house. Not too bad. And now I can buy them. Hand in the sand quest complete. If that gave me defense XP, whew, that'd be- Oh, I forgot my wizard's mind bomb, which I need to get the 66 magic boost. First entrance into the wizard's guild. Oh wait, no, I, I was here before. That's right, I, I forgot. 200 soul runes? Thank you very much. Time for a new portal room. Beautiful, let's go. Okay, new portal room completed. Ooh, shiny. All right, let's see if this works out for me. Yes, I do have 100 spells, beautiful. And we would like to travel to Salve Graveyard. Exactly. All right, now I haven't even done any part of Nature Spirit yet, but that's why I just unlocked that portal so that I can travel here quickly and now I can do Nature Spirit. Just need to grab my Ghost Beak amulet. I got so many strange fruits from killing the Chaos Elemental 252 times that they are really helpful for replenishing my energy during these quests. Especially as there are ghasts all around me right now, and they could probably kill me. Well, this quest is a lot shorter than I thought it was. Maybe I'm just better at it now. Cast the first druidic spell. Let's go. Beautiful. I got something from nature, Philly man. I think I've solved the puzzle. Whoa! The silver sickle. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I can continue with this dialogue without getting any defense or hit points experience. Should be okay. Thank you, nature spirit. Many more Meyer fungi to come. Nice, my prayer points lasted for, what is that, 16? Yeah. I'm gonna be bringing a prayer potion, however, just to make sure that uh, I'm not wasting any time with this. And one prayer dose should be sufficient, so I should actually be able to claim 28 more Meyer fungi every trip. All right, and the first full inventory. Well, pretty close to full anyway. I'll keep bringing just one dose of prayer pot. I think it's worth it. I accidentally teleported to Castle Wars, but then I realized that uh, from watching a friend video years in the past, he was able to recharge his prayer just by stepping in and outside the portal. So I think, yeah, that's not too bad actually. It's a lot faster than running to the Clan Wars portal. And I always find out really cool things by accident. It's never intentional. It's kind of weird. Yes, all right, that was the final inventory in order to match the Mortmire Fungi with the amount of Avantas I have. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, excellent. Now, time to start the herb lore process. I have 55 herb lore and I've done the calculations. I believe I can get 72 and then boost to 77 for the stamina pool in my house. Let us begin first with the Avantos. That would be most fitting. Super energies being made on the account. And the first level, 56 herb lore. Eventually I will get the Marks of Grace in order to make them into stamina potions. 
But at this time, uh, I think I can get 72 Herblore without having to do that. Hello, 58 Herblore. And that also sorts out the entire stack of Avantos. Three levels just from one single stack of herbs, and I have plenty more to go. Oh man, I finally have run energy around the game. I mean, I was using Strange Fruits before, but they're not the same. Not the same. 59! Ooh, 60! Good to see it being so high. Man, a whole new milestone. And 61! 62! Ah, <sighs> it seems the limiting factor here is my vials of water. I am completely out, and I don't know if I have enough cash to go ahead and support myself in making all of these unfinished potions, but we will see. Oh boy, that does a lot of herbs to still make. Okay, this is my entire cash stack. 7.5k. That should tide me over for a long while. Cleaning the Snapdragons. 63! This champion, I thought he was training on the spiders, but it turns out he's actually collecting the red spider eggs. Let's see. 800. Ooh, he's making a pretty penny. Well done, friend. Well done. I'm gonna snipe it from him, though. I need these for my Herblore secondary. Sorry, I need to make some super restores. So, look at this guy. He's so cute. Oh, he's gonna go water blast some demons with his staff and mystic. Elemental shield. Oh, man. Gives him that, what is it, plus two mage bonus. Oh, <laughs> wait, did I empty this? Yes, it's empty. And. I finally have enough red spider eggs to match up and make some super restore potions. The first one on the account. There we go. Beauty. 65 herb lore. 66. <gasps> 67. Three levels to go till 1500 total. Well, guys, I got 68 herb lore. <laughs> and another 80 milestone. That's 80 fletching. I actually ran out of money once again. Oh, I don't have to boost for magic short bows. I almost forgot about that. I ran out of money once again, so I have to get a little bit more, make uh, some bowstrings, and then attach them to these, sell them to a shop or something, uh, get myself more money so that I can purchase some herb lore supplies as I am out of chocolate dust. And energy has always been a problem on this account, so that'll be nice to have. Oh my gosh, it's been a long, long journey. But I'm finally 1,500 total. Yes, it is done. Finally mine rune rocks at peace. Not too shallow. Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks so good. Now it's time to make that money from rune rocks that I have so desperately needed. The Warhammer update has not come out yet, but we can expect it this month. Only 30% of my viewers are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, or you may never see me again. The journey to acquiring everything I need, including the Warhammer, continues tomorrow. In the next few days, you should see multiple videos with some of these thumbnails here. I'll see you then.